Hi everyone! In this video, I will be going over the sort function in C++ and also how to sort things like arrays in different ways. So what is sorting first of all? Sorting is a way of ordering elements within a range. So in this case, we have five elements in an array. One, five, three, four, and two. And let's say we wanted to order these elements from least to greatest. Well, the sort function would allow us to do this. And you can order these elements in any way you want using the sort function. So one important thing to note is that before you use the sort function, you must always have hashtag include algorithm at the top of your code. Make sure to include this because this allows you to use a sort function. So with that, let's first go over how to sort from least to greatest. So first of all, the format for sorting is sort first last. And first basically refers to the pointer of the first element in the range, and last basically refers to the pointer of the last element in the range you're sorting. So basically all you need to know is that if you're sorting an array, you would do sort array, array plus n, where n refers to the number of elements in the array, and if you're sorting a vector, you would do sort v.begin, v.end, where v refers to the name of the vector. So using this format, let's write the sort function for sorting from least to greatest. So we would do sort array array plus 5 because there are 5 elements in the array. And so one thing to note is that by default, the sort function in C++ sorts an array from least to greatest. So we do not need to add anything to this sort function. And if we were to run this and print out all of the values of the array, we should get the elements in sorted order from least to greatest. So let me write the code for that. And if we run this program, we get the elements in sorted order 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now let's say we wanted to sort from greatest to least. In this case, we would have to make use of a third parameter in the sort function. And the third parameter is used for determining by which conditions or by what order should the elements be sorted in. So we can choose to have it sorted in ascending order, descending order, etc. And the third parameter takes in a Boolean comparator function as an argument. So let me go over how that function would look. So it's a Boolean function and we'll call it compare. And since we're sorting an array of integers, we would have two integers as our parameters. So I'm gonna write int a comma int b. And so the data type of these would change depending on what you're sorting. So for example, if you were sorting an array of strings, then I would write string a and string b. And so basically the comparator function tells us whether the first argument, which is integer a, should be placed before the second argument, which is integer b. And if we want a to be placed before b, then we would return true. And if we want b to be placed before a, then we return false. So in this case, since we're sorting from greatest to least, we would want a to be placed before b if a is greater than b. So I would write if a is greater than b, then return true. Otherwise, we would return false. And so this concludes the compare function. And again, we would add it as a third parameter to our sort function. So let me write the sort function for sorting from greatest to least. The first two parameters would stay the same. So I would do array, array plus five, and I would add compare as the third argument. And so now let me try running this code and seeing if the array is sorted from greatest to least. And so here it is sorted from greatest to least. Okay, so now let's go over the time complexity for sorting. In the worst case scenario, the time complexity for sorting using the sort function is O of n log n. And so keep this in mind as you solve future problems. 